my lovely neat aspirants how are you doing welcome back to our channel today i am here with another interesting video dealing with a very important topic of neat algae so this is from chapter plant kingdom 11th biology i have noticed that lot of you have problem dealing with this chapter so i'll clear all the concept in the chapter the terms being used throughout the chapter in the today's video and the subsequent video so stay tuned to our channel so today we'll begin or deal with algae algae belongs to plant kingdom so let's have a quick brush up of what plant kingdom constitute kingdom plant a will have all those organisms that are eukaryotic means they have a proper well defined nucleus with a nuclear membrane and a membrane bound organelle secondly it will have individual that are eukaryotic multicellular mostly uh, very few unicellular forms are also there they possess a proper cell wall made up of cellulose and very important that they have got chlorophyll in the plastid chloroplast therefore they have autotrophic mode of nutrition so kingdom plant a will include eukaryotic organisms eukaryotes will come they will be generally multicellular they will have chlorophyll in them and they will possess a cellulosic cell wall so the cell wall is made up of cellulose and hence because of chlorophyll they have autotrophic mode of nutrition that will not only prepare food for themselves but for ourselves right So kingdom plant A is divided into five groups algae bryophytes pteridophytes gymnosperms and angiosperms right these are algae forms then we have bryophytes uske baad aaye pteridophytes jisme well differentiated uh, root stem or leaves aane lag gaye then we have gymnosperms and then angiosperms to so, inke bare mein kuch important terms se hum फेमिलराइज होते हैं सो दैट वेन यू रीड द चैप्टर यू नो वॉट दे एक्चुअली मीन इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द एवोल्यूशन ऑफ द प्लांट किंगडम देन एज द ग्रुप्स इवॉल्व फ्रॉम द लोअर प्लांट ग्रुप टू द हायर प्लांट ग्रुप एन जी ओस फॉर्म द प्लांट बॉडी शिफ्टेड फ्रॉम गेमिटोफिटिक टू स्पोरोफिटिक द डोमिनेंट प्लांट बॉडी सो एलगे एंड ब्रायोफाइट्स दे हैव थैलॉइड प्लांट बॉडी थैलस thallus means where the plant body is not differentiated into true root stem and leaves and true here refers to the diploid part so if there is no true root stem and leaf which means the thalloid body is haplontic it is haploid so the dominant plant body in the initial two group is haplontic which is gametophytic plant body right so if we do the differentiation तो एलगे और ब्रायोफाइट्स किस में आते हैं दे कम अंडर थैलोफाइट ठीक है एलगे एंड ब्रायोफाइट टुगेदर कम अंडर थैलोफाइट्स एंड थैलोफाइट्स मींस ऐसी प्लांट बॉडी व्हिच इज नॉट डिफरेंशिएटेड इनटू ट्रू रूट स्टेम एंड लीव नो true root stem and leaves aur kyunki maine aapko bataya ki true denotes the diplontic part the diploid part hence their main ya dominant plant body is haploid and that is called as gametophyte bahut jagah while you will read you will read this word or you will come across this word gametophyte which is haploid all the cell has single set of chromosome gametophyte means phyte is plant so a plant body that carry gametes now either it can carry gametes directly as in case of angiosperms pollen grains ya gymnosperm where like pollen grain is the male gametophyte within which you have male gametes or embryo sac having female gamete egg 
or the gametophytic plant body can have sex organs on them. The sex organs will produce gametes. So, जैसे जैसे plant group का evolution हुआ, gametophytic plant body से shift हो गया ये sporophytic plant body पर, यानी gametophyte reduce होता गया और sporophyte dominant होने लग गया. So, the other group, pterido, gymno and ngo, pterido Gymno or NGO, they have well differentiated plant body. Well differentiated means that they have got well differentiated plant body. And that means presence of true root, stem and leaf. Presence of true roots, stem and leaves. Male or dominant plant body is deployed. True means deployed, right? So they have the main body deployed which is called sporophyte. So the main plant body is sporophyte which is diploid. So gametophyte is a plant body that carry gamete. Sporophyte is the plant body that carries spores. So they have got sporangium. Now how is every group mein sporangium kaise organized hai? cones mein, ya fir, uh, in the form of stamen or the ovule. We'll let you, I'll let you know in the subsequent lectures. But now you should be clear with the word gametophyte and the sporophyte. So, whatever you see, angiosperms apne aspas dekhte hain, which you see, the whatever you see, the root, stem, and leaf, that is part of sporophytic plant body. Clear hua? Then you can also see bryo se lekar till angio, the embryo formation occur. So, bryophyte, pteridophyte, gymno and angiosperm, they are also called embryophyta. Because here the embryo ka formation shuru hua, while algae do not have embryo formation. Okay? So, bryo se angios tak, we have, or we can call them as embryophyta. ठीक है इनको क्या बोलेंगे embryophyta because of the presence and development of embryo in them जो algae में आपको देखने को नहीं मिलेगा correct from pterido to angiosperm we call them as tracheophytes pterido till angiosperm we call them as tracheophytes why because they have got vascular tissue in them. The vascular tissue originated in pteridophytes. So, in ko hum pteridophytes, tracheophytes bhi kehte hain. This group is called tracheophytes, which means presence of Presence of vascular tissue. Presence of vascular tissue. Vessels will originate in angiosperm. So they are tracheophyta. They do not have vascular tissue, bryo and algae and hence they are found wherever there is water. Right? They cannot be found in area, dry regions. They need water to be present because they do not have vascular tissue. Then if you see algae, bryo and pterido, they can also, they are also called as cryptogams. Crypto means hidden, gams means marriage. So they are called cryptogams because they do not form seed. And absence of seed, hidden marriage is, that's why this group come under cryptogams. Whereas gymno and angiosperm, they are called as phenerogams. Okay. 
phenerogams because they form seeds which is the result of fertilization. So we can call this group as crypto gaps hidden marriage ya hidden reproductive organ which clearly indicate no seed formation right while Gymno and angiosperms can be called as, we do call them as spermatophytes or sper metophytes which means sperm or oh, sorry speed seed producing or we call them as phenerogams right phenerogams where the seed is clearly visible as the product of marriage or sexual reproduction right so they are cryptograms algae bryoteridae Pterido, gymno and angiotracheophytes. Gymno and angio are also called as spermatophytes or cryptophenerogams. Bryoterido, gymno, angio are called as embryophytes or archegoniophytes because they have got archegonia in them. And the algae and bryo have got gametophytic phase as the dominant phase, thallus organization, while pterido, gymno and angio has got a well-defined or well-differentiated body into true root, stem and leaf. So their main plant body is sporophytic. Clear with all the details or kind of a gist of all the classes that come under kingdom plantae. Now we'll begin with algae. You all have seen algae in the water bodies, they grow algal blooms also. So algae, they belong to plant group and they are called lower plants, right? The lower plants from where the plant evolution started and these groups, they have got the main plant body is gametophytic plant body, which is not differentiated well into uh, root, stem and leaf. So they have thallus organization. We call their plant body as thallus organization see this is the thallus so we, we are, you will not be able to see proper root stem and leaves so the first group is algae we'll clear all the doubts related to algae let's begin one by one so first i'll deal with the general characteristics of algae if we talk about algae we'll first try to know how their morphology is habit is as i have given you an overview that algae have a thallus organization so their habit is thalloid and <clears throat> they have a thallus organization as you can see no true root so thallus yeah thalloid body which is haploid gametophytic haploid no true root stem and leaves right now this thallus organization in them this can be unicellular as in case of chlamydomonas or chlorella so unicellular form Hmm? Chlamydomonas hai, chlorella bhi a sakta hai. Or the thallus can be colonial where there are colonies, the parent colony with daughter colony inside. So the best example is wallworks, colonial, 
वॉल बॉक्स और यू कैन इवन हैव यूडोरिना इन इट कॉलोनियल फॉर्म में यूडोरिना भी आ जाएगा देन वी कैन हैव फिलामेंटस थैलस सो इन बोथ ऑफ देम द थैलस इज फिलामेंटस फिलामेंटस थैलस इन केस ऑफ स्पाइरोगायरा एंड यूलोथेरिक्स सो if we see eulotherics in eulotherics the each of the cell is basically more wide than the lengthwise so they are wider in uh, white compared to their height right or we can have long forms large forms jaise ki caps large form so the first characteristic deals with their habit which is thalloid and this thallus is not differentiated thallus means not differentiated into true root and stem or leaves and it is haploid gametophytic this thalloid body can be unicellular like chlamydomonas chlorella it can be colonial like wallwax eudorina filamentous like spirogyra eulothrix or it can have large forms like next second characteristic will be we should know about their habitat right where they are actually found so they are found in aquatic habitat in water now that aquatic forms can be fresh water or they can be marine so marine or fresh water both you can find or you can find them in terrestrial environment as well but then terrestrial environment is only at places which are moist right so it should be on moist stones soil moist trunk of the tree there you can find it but moistness is necessary because they do not have vascular tissue so they cannot survive if water is not present around them third characteristic is reproduction so they can reproduce vegetatively asexually or sexually vegetative reproduction they do by means of fragmentation fragmentation can be seen in them like spirogyra or eulothrix they might show fragmentation where the main plant body splits into small pieces fragments and then each of the fragment will grow into a new individual or they can reproduce asexually by means of motile spores called zoo spores so motile zoo spore zoo refers to animal and animals are locomotory so zoo spores are the only mo motile asexual spore which are produced inside zoo sporangium sexually they can reproduce by different means either they can reproduce by isogamy producing similar types of gametes an isogamy dissimilar type of gamete one is large one is small but then you cannot distinguish which is male and female some algae forms can show a large male gamete a small female female gamete or they may show a large female or a small female so it is not fixed while in case of oogamy the most advanced form the female gamete is large and non motile while the male gamete is small and motile so if i see sexual reproduction isogamy yahan se questions bhi aate hain bankar isogamy can further be motile gametes or flagellated gametes or non motile gametes non motile gametes so isogamy mein motile forms mein kaun aayega eulothrix eulothrix produces motile isogametes while in non motile you will have spirogyra and this question 
has been asked in meat. So spirogyra is non-motile gametes and isogametes or eulothrix may flagellated wale honge. An isogamy will be shown by Eudorina while Ogamy Fucus and Wallwax Fucus and Wallwax ठीक है, so ये कुछ examples हैं आपके NCERT से जिनको याद करना important है, this is important from need point to few examples based question आते हैं, तो you can be asked which green algae specifically produces non-motile isogamy, which of the following shows an isogamy, oogamy, so these examples are meant to be learned by you. Next is economic importance. So economic importance of algae. If we see algae are the primary or major producers in aquatic ecosystem, right? So they forms, firstly they are photosynthetic and because they are photosynthetic, they are producers of complex organic compounds for the aquatic lives then they are responsible for fixing 50% of CO2 fixation is done by them and while they are carrying out photosynthesis they will produce oxygen so they increase the amount of dissolved oxygen in their immediate environment right so acting as producers carbon dioxide fixation dissolved oxygen then algae are also source of hydrocolytes source of hydrocolloids hydrocolloids are hydrophilic molecules of high molecular weight that are uh, helpful in gelling in protection right so hydrocolytes con con se hai? we have algin which is obtained from brown algae and we have hydrocolloid carrageen obtained from red algae right algin is obtained from brown algae and carrageen from red algae. Iske alawa, uh, some unicellular forms are also good source of protein like chlorella and spirulina. They are unicellular chlorella and spirulina. They are unicellular algae used as food supplement by space travelers. Right? So this is your chlorella and spirulina. They are used as protein source also. Then we do obtain Agar from red algae, source of agar, it is basically a semi-solid substance that solidifies immediately on exposure to atmosphere and is used in the doing tissue culture, culture medium preparation, jellies, ice cream. So this agar is obtained from gracilina and gelidium, they are red algae. Then many forms of algae are used as food. For example, porphyra, laminaria and sargassum. They are among the 70 species of marine alga used as food by different countries. Then laminaria is also, which is a kind of brown algae, it is a source of iodine as well. So iodine is obtained from lemon area right so this was the economic importance so you can now read the mcrt as well algae have thyloid they are simple autotrophic plants aquatic bhi hai jase humne habitat kiya and they are fresh water as well moist stones wood and soil 
right? Some of them, yes, you can see some of them associating with fungi, forming lichens and they are also found on animals like sloth beer. Sloth beer ke bhi body par pura algae covered hota hai. The form and size is highly variable. You can have colonial forms jaise ki wall walks, filamentous form like Eulotherix pyrogyra, a large forms like kelps, right? Algae reproduce vegetatively, asexually and sexually. We have done that vegetatively by fragmentation where each fragment will produce the new body. The most common type of asexual reproduction is by the formation of zoospores. And in case of sexual reproduction, we can see isogamy, flagellated and motile gametes in eulothrix, non-flagellated in case of Spirogyra, as I told, and in case of Ogamus, we have wall walks and fucus, where the ma male uh, gamete is short and motile, while the female is large and non motile. Some of the economic importance, as we dealt with, half of the total CO2 fixation on earth is by algae. Then, being photosynthesis, they increase the level of dissolved oxygen in their environment. They are primary producers of energy rich compounds in the, for the aquatic animal. Porphyra, Laminaria, Sargassum, 70 species used as food. Elgin, a hydrocolloid from brown algae. Carrageen from the red algae. Gelidium and Gracilaria are source of agar which is used in Preparations of ice cream, jellies or medium preparation, growth of microbes. Chlorella, unicellular form is used as food supplement by the space travelers. So this is about the general features of algae. Now we will do the three classes of algae which is chlorophyte, chlorophyce, pheophyce and rhodophyce mainly classified on the basis of pigment in them and of course the stored food and all. Right, so the main classification category is the pigment. First classification, first category is chlorophyce. Chlorophyce are also called green algae. So the first class is chlorophyce, commonly called as green algae because they appear green in color due to the dominance of chlorophyll in them. Right, so beginning with chlorophyce, we'll first look at the thallus habit which is thallus now their thallus can be unicellular unicellular like chlorella chlorella is a unicellular form abhi amne kiya bhi tha it is used as a uh, source of food by space travelers, chlorella or chlamydomonas, right? Then we can have filamentous forms, filamentous may we will have eulotheric spirogyra, you have done it, eulotherix Spiro gyra. Right? Colonial form, I have shown you. Do write it fast. Congon city. Very good. Wall walks. Eudorina. So, wall walks is colonial form. I have shown you. Eudorina also come under it. Okay? Colonial forms, Viogai filamentous, unicellular forms. We have these in the thallus organization. Coming to their habitat, very, very important. Of course, they will be aquatic. So, aquatic habitat may, they are mostly freshwater and very few are found in marine water. So, mostly Fresh water, isi ek ek word ko ho change karke de sakte hain. Aaj kal neet mein waise bhi aise hi questions raise ho rahe hain where they are, you know, changing single words. So they may write rarely fresh water, mostly marine wrong. 
सो वेरी फ्यू और फ्यू मरीन फॉर्म्स करेक्ट देन टॉकिंग अबाउट देयर पिगमेंट दे हैव डोमिनेंट पिगमेंट इज क्लोरोफिल ए एंड बी डोमिनेंट इज क्लोरोफिल ए प्लस क्लोरोफिल बी इसके अलावा कैरोटीन वगैरह तो होगा ही बट क्लोरोफिल ए एंड बी इज द डोमिनेंट विच इज प्रेजेंट इन क्लोरोप्लास्ट एंड दे शो द मेंबर शो डाइवर्स टाइप ऑफ क्लोरोप्लास्ट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ क्लोरोप्लास्ट आर सी You can have spiral shaped, जैसे spirogyra. The term spirogyra is the name spirogyra is because of this fact only that they have spiral shaped chloroplast. Then we can have they can have reticulate type, ribbon shape. So different type of it, cup shape, cup shape chloroplast is seen in case of. Clamidomonas. See, the Clamidomonas basically shows cup-shaped type of chloroplast. I'll show you. See, this is the cup-shaped type of chloroplast in Clamidomonas. Hmm. So they can have different types of chloroplast in them. Then coming to reproduction. reproduction vegetatively they can show fragmentation if i see they can show fragmentation also fragmentation as seen in spirogyra we have done it then asexual reproduction is by means of zoospores sexual reproduction if we see isogamy seen in case of very good eulothrix which is going to form vegetated uh, flagellated gametes and in case of spirogyra which will form non flagellated similar type of gametes then an isogamy as in eudorina as well as oogamy can be seen in wall walks so wall walks mein aapko ऊगेमी भी देखने को मिल सकती है है ना तो यहां पर सभी टाइप के सेक्सुअल साइकिल्स आप देख सकते हो ठीक है रिप्रोडक्शन का इन रादर इन के इन दिस ऑल्सो फिलामेंट इज फॉर्म यू कैन इवन हैव कैरा कैरा इज ऑल्सो अ ग्रीन एलगे आपकी बुक में उसका डायग्राम भी दिया है और वो फिलामेंट इज फॉर्म में ही आएगा If I talk about their cell wall, we can also talk about their cell wall. इसको सिक्स कर लेते हैं Then their cell wall is made up of inner cellulosic and outer pectos. So inner cellulose, inner cellulosic wall. ये आपको याद रखना जरूरी है कि अंदर वाली वॉल सेलुलोस की होगी एंड आउटर पेक्टोस और पेक्टिन ठीक है आउटर वॉल इनकी पेक्टिन की होगी रिप्रोडक्शन के अलावा वी हैव फूड स्टोरेज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो दे स्टोर फूड 
in the form of structures called pyrenoids. So pyrenoids is basically made up of starch and protein. Apart from this, they also store food in the form of oil droplets. So food storage is pyrenoid bodies which is starch and with proteins along with some proteins in them and oil droplets clear the gametes if they are motile gametes the gametes can have flagella ranging from 1 to 8 in number but flagella will be equal in length and they will be epical in position यहाँ पे जो गेमीट्स बनेंगे उनके फ्लैजुला एपिक्स पर होंगे इक्वल लेंथ के होंगे क्लियर एक बार फटाफट बुक का देखते हैं क्या क्या इसमें लिखा है एनसीईआरटी में अब आपको क्लियर हो जाएगा दे आर कॉमनली कॉल्ड ग्रीन एलगे बॉडी कैन बी यूनिसेलुलर कोलोनियल और फिलामेंटस ग्रीन एज आई टोल्ड यू बिकॉज ऑफ द डोमिनेंस ऑफ क्लोरोफिल ए एंड बी दीज पिगमेंट्स आर लोकलाइज इन chloroplast and chloroplast can be discoid plate like reticulate cup shape spiral or ribbon shape so you can have different diversity in this most of the members have one or more storage bodies called pyrenoids located into the chloroplast pyrenoids contain very important protein besides starch starch ke alawa protein bhi hai some algae store food in the form of oil droplets so mostly paranoid but some some ko circle kar lijiye some oil droplet and most member most ko bhi underline kijiye circle kijiye paranoid honge green algae have a rigid cell wall inner layer inner ko circle karenge cellulosic outer layer pectose ki bani hai theek hai iske alawa vegetative reproduction usually by fragmentation or by different types of spore asexual is by flagellated zoospores produced inside zoosporangium the sexual reproduction is quite variable it can be isogamous and isor oogamous as we have done earlier also some of the commonly found green alga is chlamydomonas which is unicellular then we can have volvox eulothrix pyrogyra cara cara is also a ग्रीन एल के इकोनॉमिक इम्पोर्टेंस ऑल टूगेदर हम कर चुके सो द नेक्स्ट इज ब्राउन एल गे ऑल्सो नोन एज फीओफाइसी सो फीओफाइसी में सबसे पहले देखते हैं दे हैव डिफरेंट वाई दे आर कॉल्ड ब्राउन एल गे सो द नेक्स्ट क्लास इज ब्राउन एल गे और फीओफाइसी इफ यू सी फ्रॉम द डायग्राम इट सेल्फ कैन यू सी दीज लीव लाइक स्ट्रक्चर्स इन दैम राइट and some of them might also have air bladders in it right then why do we commonly call them as brown algae because they have diff they are available in different shades of brown due to the presence of pigment fucoxanthin the concentration of the pigment fucoxanthin present in them gives them the different shades of brown right so if we see some of the important forms of brown uh, features of brown algae first will be i'll talk about their thallus first let's talk about their thallus very very important point in this is in case of phyophyce there are no unicellular forms available so no unicellular forms very important point no unicellular forms then they their plant body is basically filamentous simple branched ho sakti hai filamentous ho sakti hai filamentous ka very important example is ectocarpus और ये आ जाएगा आपको नीट में इम्पॉर्टेंट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज अ फिलामेंटस ब्राउन एल गे एक्टोकार्पस और वी कैन हैव लार्ज फॉर्म्स कॉल्ड कैप्स दे आर अराउंड हंड्रेड मीटर इन हाइट 
ठीक है सो so, ये ब्रांच हो सकते हैं फिलामेंटस हो सकते हैं और काफी लार्ज फॉर्म्स जैसे कि ये वाला आप देख और काफी लार्ज फॉर्म्स जैसे कि ये कैल्प्स राइट दीज आर दी कैल्प्स नाउ इफ यू सी देयर प्लांट बॉडी इज बेसिकली डिवाइडेड इनटू थ्री पार्ट्स और इट इज अटैच्ड प्लांट बॉडी हैज थ्री पार्ट्स होल्ड फास्ट the lowermost portion through which they are attached to the substrate by which they attach to substratum jaise roots hoti hain yahan pe to roots hongi nahi to yahan par kya hai hold fast hai then the stalk like structure called stipe and then the leaf like structure called frond leaf like structure theek hai to hold fast stipe and frond can be seen in ki body agar main branch bana rahi hu तो ये आपका होल्ड फास्ट हो गया ये स्टाइप हो गया एंड दिस लीफ लाइक स्ट्रक्चर इज फ्रॉन विच माइट हैव एयर ब्लैडर्स एज वेल एज इन केस ऑफ फ्यूकस सो दिस इज देयर थैलस पार्ट नो यूनिसेलुलर फॉर्म्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ठीक है देन टॉकिंग अबाउट देयर हैबिटैट क्लोरोफाइसी में क्या था mostly aquatic but yahan par mostly marine hongi they are mostly marine while few are aquatic theek hai mostly marine few aquatic then if i talk about their pigments फोटोसिंथेटिक पिगमेंट्स में क्लोरोफिल ए वो तो यूनिवर्सल पिगमेंट होता ही है अलोंग विद दिस दे हैव क्लोरोफिल सी जबकि ग्रीन एलगे में क्लोरोफिल ए और बी था इसके अलावा इनके पास कैरोटीन है जैंथोफिल है एंड जैंथोफिल में द मेन पिगमेंट रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर गिविंग डिफरेंट शेड्स ऑफ ब्राउन एस फ्यूको जैंथिन जो डिफरेंट शेड्स ऑफ ब्राउन आपको ये दिखते हैं जिसकी वजह से इसका नाम ब्राउन एलगे है वो पिगमेंट फ्यूको जैंथिन की वजह से है जिस हिसाब से उसका कॉन्सेंट्रेशन होगा यहाँ पर क्लोरोफिल क्लोरोप्लास्ट में कोई ज्यादा आपको वेराइटी शेप्स में नहीं दिखेगी नेक्स्ट इज सेल वॉल सो एक हमने इकोनॉमिक इंपॉर्टेंस किया था कि हाइड्रोकोलाइड्स मिलते हैं राइट यहाँ से एल्जिन मिलता है तो इनकी जो सेल वॉल होती है वो सेल्यूलोसिक होती है बट इट इज कवर्ड बाय अ जिलेटिनस हाइड्रोकोलॉइडल कवरिंग कॉल्ड एल्जिन सो सेल्यूलोसिक कवर्ड बाय एल्जिन विच इज अ हाइड्रोकोलॉइड ठीक है next if i talk about their reproduction reproduction mein vegetative ki baat kare to vegetatively they reproduce by fragmentation theek hai the main plant body will fragment into small pieces and each piece will grow into a new individual so asexual vegetatively fragmentation karte hain asexual reproduction zoospores ke through hota hai and these zoospores are biflagellated very very important pear shaped शेप बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है पियर शेप्ड जू स्पोर्ट्स 
Now the two flagella in zoospore they are unequal in length. जो दो flagella हैं zoospore में वो unequal हैं और laterally located हैं. जैसे chlorophyce में apical position था tip से ये lateral है और unequal है. इसलिए इसको बाय फ्लैजुलेटेड है तो हेट्रोकॉन्ट फ्लैजुला है हेट्रोकॉन्ट मीन्स अनइक्वल वन लॉन्ग अनइक्वल फ्लैजुला लेटरली प्लेस्ड लेटरली प्लेस्ड क्लियर नेक्स्ट सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन so if we talk about sexual reproduction it can be of the three type isogametes and isogametes or oogamous isogamous and iso or oogamous type and if the gametes are there to pear shaped gametes hai pear shaped gametes यहाँ पर जैसे स्पोर पियर शेप्ड होते हैं एंड लेटरली प्लेस्ड फ्लैजला इनका फ्लैजला भी लेटरली प्लेस्ड होगा ठीक है इन केस ऑफ मोटाइल गेमिट्स द फ्लैजला इज लेटरली प्लेस्ड क्लियर हुआ ऑल द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ ब्राउन एलगे Fufaisi brown algae primarily or majorly in marine habitat. So marine or primarily underline कीजिए great variation in size and form. So variation show करते हैं size और form में from simple branched filamentous form ectocarpus star लगा लो यहाँ पर to profusely branched as in kelps which are hundred meters. See, while you read NCRT, you don't have to underline completely. Otherwise, what you'll see immediately. So you have to highlight certain things only. They have got chlorophyll A, C, carotenoid, xanthophyll. The various colors from olive green to shades of brown is because of xanthophyll pigment, which is fucoxanthin. This you circle. Food storage. Yes, they store food in the form of complex carbohydrate laminarin and mannitol. वहाँ पे pyranoid था, यहाँ पे laminarin और mannitol है. Their cell wall is cellulose, covered outside by gelatinous coating called elgin as explained. The plant body usually attached to the substratum by holdfast, stalks type and photosynthetic organ which is frond. Vegetative reproduction by means of fragmentation taking place asexual reproduction is by flagellate zoospores that have two unequal very important underline the word unequal and laterally attached flagella to agar ye zoospore hai to lateral hai aur unequal hai then sexual reproduction iso n iso or oogamous type गेमिट का फर्टिलाइजेशन वाटर या ओगोनियम के अंदर हो सकता है अगर ओगेमस होगा तो ओगोनियम के अंदर होगा दे आर पायरी फॉर्म पियर शेप्ड एंड बियर टू लेटरली अटैच्ड अटैच फ्लैजिला द कॉमन फॉर्म्स आर एक्टोकार्पस व्हिच इज फिलामेंटस देन वी हैव डिक्टियोटा लैमिनेरिया लैमिनेरिया इज दिस यूज्ड एज फूड आल्सो देन दिस इज फ्यूकस दिस इज कैल्प सार्गासम ये सब आएगा ठीक है एग्जाम्पल्स याद करना बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंट है आपको एग्जाम्पल्स का कैटेगरी बनाना पड़ेगा टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस नेक्स्ट इज रोडोफाइसी और रेड एलगे सी रोडोफाइसी और रेड एलगे दे आर रेड इन कलर बिकॉज ऑफ प्री डोमिनेंस ऑफ पिगमेंट आर फाइको इरिथ्रिन they are red in color which means they absorb the rest of the light but they reflect red light red light is not absorbed by them now if we talk about at what depth you can find which type of algae right if we talk about the greater depth deep down where there is no not much light is available there you will find red algae you know why because red algae absorb green and blue light and green and blue light in the vibgyor or the visible spectrum they have 
less wavelength but more energy while red light have more wavelength but less energy and to penetrate deep layers of the oceans or the seas energy is needed since red light do not have much energy therefore it get dispersed in the above region only and it cannot penetrate to deep layers while green and blue light even though they have less wavelength but they have more energy and hence that can penetrate to deep down so we find red algae even near the surface and below deep down also but deep down aapko zyada tar red algae hi milega kyunki red algae red color ka wavelength absorb nahi karta hai and red wavelength reach hi nahi kar pata hai itna deep down deep down kaun reach karega green ya blue violet wala to blue violet aur green maha reach karega aur ye wahi absorb karte hai because of more energy red and blue light so therefore they are found in deeper layers clear so they they are also mostly marine if i talk about their habitat they are mostly marine and in the marine region they prefer warm areas warmer region but you can find them deep down also or near the surface also near the surface or deep down so if you are asked ki among the three algae which algae are found in the deepest layer it is the red alga and now you know the reason because they are absorbing green and violet wavelength of light which can reach the deeper layer while the green and brown algae is absorbing light in the red or the orange uh, this uh, red region or the green region but red light cannot penetrate deep down right then if i talk about their habit of course they will have a thallus and we do have unicellular forms here as well yahan par cellular uh, green algae ki tarah unicellular forms mil jayengi but brown algae mein nahi hongi jaise porphyridium is a unicellular red algae theek hai then talking about their pigment क्लोरोफाइसी में क्या था क्लोरोफिल ए एंड बी ब्राउन में क्लोरोफिल ए एंड सी यहाँ पर क्लोरोफिल ए एंड डी अवेलेबल है इसके अलावा दे डू हैव कैरोटीन भी होंगे और बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट दैट दे हैव फाइकोबिलेंस फाइकोबिलेंस आर पिगमेंट्स वाटर सोलेबल पिगमेंट्स होते हैं ये जो साइनो बैक्टीरिया और रेड एलगे में मिलते हैं फाइकोबेलेंस दो टाइप के आर फाइको इरिथ्रिन विच इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर गिविंग रेड कलर एंड आर फाइको साइन साइनो बैक्टीरिया के केस में आर फाइको साइन इन ज्यादा होता है रिथ्रिन कम होता है रेड एलगे के केस में दिस इज मोर इन अमाउंट एंड इज This is more in amount R phycoerythrin and is responsible for the red color of red color of algae. ठीक है R phycoerythrin. तो इनका habitat habit unicellular form और mostly तो multicellular है ही. Unicellular भी है और mostly multicellular है. ये भी याद रखना ऐसा नहीं है सिर्फ यूनिसेलुलर है मोस्टली मल्टी सेलुलर है इसके अलावा बात करते हैं फूड स्टोरेज की फूड स्टोरेज दे स्टोर द फूड इन दी फॉर्म ऑफ फ्लोरिडियन स्टार्च और फ्लोरिडियन स्टार्च का जो स्ट्रक्चर होता है दैट इज क्वाइट सिमिलर टू ग्लाइकोजन एंड एमाइलोपेक्टिन ऑफ द स्टार्च ये आपको स्टेटमेंट बेस्ड में आ सकता है फ्लोरिडियन स्टार्च स्ट्रक्चर इज सिमिलर टू ग्लाइकोजन एंड अमाइलोपेक्टिन 
ठीक है अमाइलोपेक्टिन और ग्लाइकोजन के जैसा इसका स्ट्रक्चर होता है देन इफ आई टॉक अबाउट रिप्रोडक्शन सबसे पहले जैसे ब्राउन एलगे में नो यूनिसेलुलर फॉर्म ऐसे ही रेड एलगे में इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट टू बी नोटिस्ड इज नो मोटाइल फॉर्म्स इसमें कोई भी मोटाइल फॉर्म्स नहीं होंगी ठीक है तो इनका जो ए सेक्जुअल रिप्रोडक्शन है वो नॉन मोटाइल गे मीट्स करेंगे ए सेक्जुअली दे रिप्रोड्यूस by the help of non motile gametes and second most important point is ki isme jo sexual reproduction hai wo advanced form wali hai that is oogamous sexual reproduction oogamous type which is the advanced one एडवांस फॉर्म ठीक है ओगेमस टाइप होगा अलॉन्ग विथ पोस्ट फर्टिलाइजेशन डेवलपमेंट फर्टिलाइजेशन के बाद प्रॉपर डेवलपमेंट भी होगा इनके अंदर सो एडवांस फॉर्म है ये ठीक है लेट्स रीड इट नाउ फ्रॉम द बुक एज वेल The members are common called red algae. Predominance of R phycoerythrin को circle कीजिए Majority of them are marine. Majority को circle करेंगे with great concentration in the warmer region. They occur in both well lighted regions close to the surface as well as at great depth where there is little penetration of light. And why is it so? I have told you. The red thallus is multicellular. The red thallus of most. So most को circle करना है. Some of them can have complex organization. The food storage is in the form of Floridian starch. एंड इसमें इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट है सिमिलर इन स्ट्रक्चर टू अमाइलोपेक्टिन एंड ग्लाइकोजन दे रिप्रोड्यूस वेजिटेटिवली येस वेजिटेटिव रिप्रोडक्शन फ्रेगमेंटेशन है वो तीनों में ही कॉमन है ए सेक्जुअली बाय नॉन मोटाइल स्पोर्स एंड सेक्जुअली बाय नॉन मोटाइल गेमीट्स बिकॉज देर विल बी नो म्यूटाइल फॉर्म्स अवेलेबल एंड इट इज ऊ गेमस एकम्पनीड बाय पोस्ट फर्टिलाइजेशन डेवलपमेंट ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है कॉम्प्लेक्स पोस्ट फर्टिलाइजेशन डेवलपमेंट देखो कॉमन रेड एलगे पॉरफायरा जलीडियम ग्रासिल एरिया जलीडियम और ग्रासिल एरिया आर सोर्स ऑफ एगार जो कि कल्चर मीडियम प्रिपरेशन में या फिर जेलीज आइसक्रीम्स बनाने में हेल्प करता है सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द टेबल गिवन इन योर बुक वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट the different comparison and we have done all of it right we even talked about the uh, number of flagella kis mein equal hai lateral hai wo bahut important hai we talked about pigments in what form they stored the food and in which habitat they are formed so it is a summarization of overall i really hope aapko aaj ka pura ye topic algae ab samajh mein aa gaya hoga gametophyte kya hota hai sporophyte kya hota hai lower plants mein gametophytic is the main plant body they have thallus algae have thallus organization they do not have vascular tissue and hence you cannot find them on the dry regions terrestrial forms bahut kam hongi mainly aapko aquatic environment mein hi ye milenge and the three classes we dealt with different features so i hope you are clear with this topic today and you really like the video so if you really like my video please like share and subscribe to our channel stay tuned for the subsequent topic of the same chapter please let me know your doubt in the comment section and where do you find more difficulty in the whole chapter so that i can clear them up or take them up in the next subsequent videos till then stay tuned goodbye all the best